Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently, On One Software has updated On One Photo Raw 2019 to version 2019.5. Included in this free update are two new features. In this video, we're going to discuss those two new features. Like most updates, this update includes bug fixes, performance enhancements, and new lens data. But as I mentioned at the top, it also includes two new features. Now the first feature, many people that utilize dual monitors have been clamoring for for some time. Up until now, On One Photo Raw has not had the capability of being utilized on dual monitors. Well, now you can. On One calls it dual mode. To turn it on, go to the top window menu, then down to dual mode, and then show. And as you can see, we have the second window open up. And you could take this window and you could put it on your other monitor. And in this case, we have the browse module in grid view here. And since I'm utilizing one monitor, you'll have to make do. But what we could do then is we could pick the image here and it will switch over on our main screen. So we could pick an image uh, to process. Uh, very easily. Just click through and find one. Then once you have an image uh, ready to process, or if you want, you could stay on this monitor, I should say, and you could star rate it, color label it, pick it, unpick it, things like that through this monitor. But then when you're ready to process the image, you could go to your other monitor and go to the edit module and start processing your image. And that leads us into the second new feature that on one has introduced that is a history panel if you look over here we have the tabs going across the top nav navigation levels info and history now every move you make in on one every adjustment you make will be recorded in the history tab there is a limitation though and i'm going to talk about that in a moment and there is what i consider to be a bug and i'm going to talk about that in a moment as well but let's do some processing to this image, all right? Just real quick, so don't judge me. Um, I'm not gonna really, I'm not gonna try real hard, is what I'm trying to say. So let's just um, do some processing to make it look different, okay? So I just did some tone and color processing, and just, you know, you could see if you look up at the history tab, every single slider I moved has been recorded here. So if I need to go back a step or two, or even back to the open, right to the beginning, I can. Or I could go to after I did my black point adjustment. Or I could go after I did my hue adjustment. Or maybe, or I'm sorry, haze adjustment. Or the saturation adjustment. So I could step back through those steps. I could also jump over to the effects module and add a filter. And I think I'll just add a vignette. And because this is a snow scene, I'm just going to add a white vignette so we could say we did it and you could see up in the history tab we have from open every step has been recorded and we could step back through them go back in history whatever we need to do so all those adjustments are preserved but that leads us into uh, the functionality of the history tab that i don't like and i hope they change in a future update if I go now to the Browse module, we'll click on Browse, and what you'll notice, first of all, is what I consider a bug. Look at that weird look. We, our image never looked like that, but it's gonna take about five or six seconds for it to click out of this and go back to that. So that kind of bugs me. Also, if I go to Grid View, you can see Grid View, that weird look is permanently entranced. Entranced, is that a word? No, it's permanently stuck in grid view uh, because I don't think entranced is a word, although it should be. Anyway, you could see I don't like that. I think that's a bug. So when you go then and click on it, you could see that weird view is there. It's going to take five or six seconds to click out of that. And now we're back to our really ad adjustment, the adjustment we did. But what I, a feature of the history tab that I don't like, now that's a bug, all right? To me, that's a bug. The history or the feature of the history tab that I don't like, if we go back to edit, the history is clear. Um, 
and you can see we have this weird view for five or six seconds and it clicks out and our adjustments are preserved if you go down you know tone and color is there if we go to the effects tab you can see our vignette is there the exact adjustments we used on everything are there it's just our history tab is blank what i hope is that in a future update on one photo raw 2019 that they make the history tab permanent so all our adjustments are preserved even if you close down on one and open it up a year later you could go back into your adjustment steps um, so i hope that is going to be something they change and i do hope they kind of fix this bug because that just bugs me i don't know I'm, i mean it's not permanent obviously it just takes a few seconds to pop out and it might take longer on my computer because i have this screen recording software running that uses some resources but it still kind of bugs me that in grid view uh, that view is there and it doesn't go away it's always there in grid view so that's just kind of weird if you ask me so hopefully that gets gets fixed and hopefully the history tab uh they make that slight adjustment i think it's a slight adjustment so that it is permanent it's always there and um the dual monitor thing i don't have dual monitors to properly test it but hopefully that's working out okay if you have dual monitors and you're using it you could comment below and let us know how it works for you thank you everyone that watches my videos i truly do appreciate it i'll talk to you guys soon